All right, all right. We're back with Contractor Talk with Richie Kidwell, Building Ammons Experts. Thank you guys for hanging out throughout the break. Live here on iHeartRadio, 94.1 FM, 93.1 FM, and also on the AM dial, 540 AM. Thanks again for listening to this fantastic show. We have a great set of guests for you guys today. Uh, we have Patrick Carr here today with the Blue Collar Media Group and the Patrick Carr Show. That's right. Go. Going down here on Saturdays. Um, and uh, he's feeling uh, a lot better on Saturday morning than he uh, used to rolling the studio a little bit uh with some uh cool yeah. backstories from the night before what he's like whoa hold, <laughs> well, hold on here on, this is a family on, show right. come on pg today I'm trying to clean it up here richie okay, okay. All, right. all right all right all right fine uh we have another guest with us today with uh construction angels construction angels.us for more information and so we'll just continue on uh what we're talking about and christy i think you've had um uh, uh something else you'd like to highlight uh, uh with us for the listeners here um about your uh 501 c3 yep right all right so i'm a 501 c6 because i do a lot of uh um uh, political campaign uh so they made us become a six so i uh tell us a little bit more about that type of organization and and i know i'm tax deductible for only for businesses though because of the way i uh, uh transact here in the state of florida but you're on a national uh because you're in multiple states so how does that differ and then uh, are there benefits for the folks that, that do give to you or or hold golf tournaments or fundraisers or how does that work for you Anyone that writes a check or pays Construction Angels, whether our website, oh, these are the ways they can donate. Oh. On our website, you can make a one-time donation, a recurring <laughs> donation. You can send a check to National. Um, if you wanted it to go to a particular sp- state, you could actually write that in the memo, and that would that money would go to the state, or it would go into National. Um, but we are tax deductible, and it's for anybody. That's great. So that's great. Whether you're um, acting as a person or your corporation, that is something that uh, you get the benefit of that tax uh, deduction or benefit for that uh, donation. Then correct, right? And that's we awesome. do we do have a lot of fundraisers, like I was saying, you know. And as we're building momentum, we're almost halfway there, mm. uh, almost to twenty five states. So once we do get into these other states, what we look for is. Number one, you can come out and you can participate. And our, our events are fun. Or you can sponsor a particular event. Or you could host an event. Um, maybe you want to just have, you know, your own 5K like Patrick did. You know, and you just create something. And we'll support you. We'll promote it. Um, also, you can make... Uh, what, I, what am I thinking? Oh, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, there's just, there's plenty of ways to get involved. So check us out on our website and yeah. And well, there's a lot of it. creative ways it seems like, and those are all great ways uh, to hold these uh, uh, fundraisers because you want to do something that's fun, want to do something that people want to attend, uh, and also for a good cause. I mean, Construction Angels is a great cause. Uh, your money does go to a great space, uh, and, and that's for folks that are left behind after uh, after their spouse or significant other is is uh, uh, killed or injured on the job site. Now, is it uh, just folks that uh, that have passed away or, or is it in, in, injured folks? Or I mean, is it, uh, tell us a little bit more about how uh, how you guys support uh, the, the, the folks that may be on a construction site in either way, whether it, uh, whether they're deceased or whether they're uh, severely injured. How does that work? So if we did injuries, we would have no money. Um, uh, it would be really, really terrible. So we only do fatalities. And um, now with that national fundraiser that we had, we're helping families in states that we're not currently having fundraisers. Recently, we helped a woman in Washington. We've helped a family in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana. And we're we're not in those states yet. So that's what happens when people donate or help us with, you know, fundraising on a national level. And we do a lot of outdoor events, some fishing tournaments. We have a bass tournament coming up in November in Kissimmee here. Uh, We have clay shoots and... Yeah, get involved or or help us do something different. <laughs> um, I, That's awesome. There was one particular family that sticks out to me. Uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about it, Christy. It was last year here in Florida. I don't think it's even been a year. In fact, I'm positive it hasn't. Um, in north central Florida in the Villages area, I believe the young man was trapped underneath a bridge. Um, he was working on a road, I believe, and left his family immediately, I believe is what it was. Do you remember this story? Um it was in North Central Florida. I know that it was that time we were working a uh, a golf tournament, and there's a young man. Okay. I want to say in his mid twenties. Yep. And like it's just a terrible story, Richie. When I think about this, that you go to work, 
I mean, I, so many people, you think about that, you just go to work and assume your spouse and your husband or your the father, his mother is going to come home, mm-hmm. and then they don't. Um, and it, it leaves these kids with who's going to pay for the backpack? Who's going to, you know, who's going to make sure that the rent is paid that month? And that's one of the reasons right. I really love this organization. Or even a Barry, uh, you know, that, that, that person. Funeral I mean, expenses. Absolutely, right, that's... Know, absolutely, Richie. And so you think that one of the things I want to get across to people, because I've, I've gotten this, and I know, Christy, you do too. I've had friends that have said, well, you know, isn't insurance going to cover that? You know, this, aren't, isn't the company going to step forward? And... I think that everyone can agree that probably when this happens, unfortunately, there are times where attorneys get involved, right. and that prolongs the process, and sometimes those companies are not going to work with that fallen construction worker and their family because attorneys get involved. And you can say that's right or wrong, but the one thing I like about Construction Angels is they're not there to pass judgment or be political. It's who's going to help this family get through. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the reasons I got involved with them. I think that everyone puts their politics to the side. There's a family, there's children who have lost somebody that is so dear to them that's the breadwinner of the family. And construction workers is doing their part to step in and bridge that gap. You can't go wrong with that. But I, that story sticks out of my mind. If she, you remember the, she came to the golf tournament yes. that day. That's why you yes. remember that. So that particular family came out. And, you know, it's really nice to be able to hand somebody, you know, the check and give them a hug because now we've talked on the phone with this woman and and cried with her. I, I do cry a lot when I get these phone calls and or when I make them. And, you know, it gets emotional. Mm-hmm. And then to be able to say, please go pick a counselor, you know, in your area or somebody you feel comfortable talking to and we'll pay the institute directly. You know, a thousand dollars. That's at least what you would think. Ten sessions. That's great so. Yeah, that's so, Richie, when, I, when people think about, you know, this organization, I hope they know that this is not them giving a, and yeah, college scholarships are part of it, don't get me wrong, but this isn't some, you know, I don't know, fund that these pe- people are going to get if they cross all these X's and dot all these I's. No, this is cash that these people can use to get through the most difficult time that someone can imagine, and I just don't know how that's not something worth supporting right there. No, I, I that that's excellent. I mean, and, and I hope that folks that are listening here that that tells their friends and 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 yeah. tells other people that this type of program does exist. Um, I don't know how many people I know in the construction industry, many, many people uh, that I know, and I didn't know that this uh, program existed uh, either. So I, I'm thankful that you're on the show today. Um, you. And uh, if, if you are listening to it on iHeart, flip on over to our Facebook page, Contractor Talk with Richie Kidwell. Uh, we'll be posting videos of this interview here and how you can get more information on this program to donate now or be a part of their fundraisers. I think it's a great event. Uh, uh, we hope that you do raise a lot of money and you can help as many families as you possibly can. I think it's an excellent idea. Um, and again, I mean, how many stories have we heard of people falling off of roofs or through a roof and, you know, whether injuries and uh, whether fatalities exist. And, you know, and the question is, is what do we do now? And I think that's going to be, uh, you know, a question that we can easily answer and say, have you talked with construction angels yet? Yep. Um, and I think it's a perfect, uh, a perfect match for, for, for what you're doing and, and our listeners. Thank you. One thing that we ask people to do is if you hear of a construction fatality, it's great that they reach out to us because some people assume that we know and we actually don't. So we have a short form on our website. Um, it's an assistance request form that either the contractor or, or anybody can complete and they complete it within three to five minutes and we call the company just to verify employment, verify the beneficiary, and then we send it to the committee. They approve or or disapprove, but they approve it for the most part and then we pass it along and it's taken care of. There's no strings attached. The money came from the industry. We get support from our industry. We are always looking for support outside of our industry, but pretty much we're getting support from one of our own. That's excellent. That's excellent. Um, And that's great. And that's uh, constructionangels.us. That's the website you go to. And again, we're going to we're going to put this on our website, uh, excuse me, on our uh, on our Facebook page. And uh, we'll pop it on our contractor talk with Richie Kidwell as well. I I imagine you're going to push it out as well too, Patrick Carr. Uh, So check him out as well. Uh, Blue Collar Media or the Patrick Carr Show. Easily to be found online. Just type in the Patrick Carr. I think you'll be able to find him. Yeah, it's not vain enough to name a show after yourself. I did it. Hey, man. You, you know, that's that's how you distinguish yourself from everybody else. <laughs> the Joe Rogans thank of the world. You. Right? That makes sense. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks for inviting me, and thank you for having me on your show. Richard. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you're on our show today. And again, uh, contracting, what is it? Uh, the ain't 
Say it one more time because I'm going to post ConstructionAngels.us. ConstructionAngels.us. We're going to po- we're going to fix that and post. All right. Anyways, so thanks again for joining us on the show today. Contractor talk with Richie Kidwell, building damage experts. We'll talk to you guys here uh, soon. And thanks again for being our guest today.